Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. What well, you guys are from? MBA. 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 Yes. So, so my name is Ambar Dakshi. I am doing my MBA from Ashton College. So, I have a question that what is revenue management and how does it operate in our industry, sir? Okay. So for you guys, uh, revenue management is new, right? I mean, is it part of your uh, curriculum? Yeah, uh, we have uh, had a. Uh, it was in part of our curriculum, sir. But we don't have a detailed knowledge of how does it work exactly, sir. We okay. just have a textbook knowledge, sir. Because we have not done the training in the revenue, mm. so we don't have inside knowledge of the revenue department. Sir. All right, great. So let me explain you in, in short what is revenue management is. So revenue management, the primary job of a revenue manager or a revenue management team is to maximize revenue, yeah. increase revenue for the hotel, and it is from all the revenue streams. So I'll give an example. Uh, if you ask me, the definition of revenue management is basically uh, it is a set of strategies and tactics to maximize revenue. So it also what we do in revenue management is to understand, anticipate, and influence customer behavior. So like when I was talking to you guys in the um, when I took the session, so you I gave an example of uh, Uber Ola, right? Yeah. During the uh, peak hours, during the busy hours, how they charge, like you know, if if a regular price from Salt Lake to maybe to Park Street, if they are charging two hundred rupees, and during peak hours when the demand goes up and the yeah. supply is less, yeah. maybe only four cars and ten people are looking for um, a car, so they charge two times higher than the regular price. So, so I mean, what they are doing, they are just picking and choosing the right customer. Right Based price, demand. absolute basis the demand. So choosing the right customer at the right time at the right price is also a revenue management. So that is. And sir, how does it operate in the industry, sir? Uh, see, I'll tell you. In in hotel industry, the primary functions, the major functions, if you ask me, in revenue management is first is pricing. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of things. If I go in depth, there are multiple functions in uh, revenue management. So. The, the other ones, the major ones, I'll tell you, is first is pricing, you know pricing, which I said, yeah. you know, it's a combination. Of, I mean, when you say pricing, it is not limited to just you know one segment; it is across all segments. And the second is um, the the pricing is the primary. The second is forecasting. Forecasting is also I mean seeing demand in advance, advance and plan accordingly. Absolutely. So I was giving you guys example of uh, demand in Goa, yeah. like December, January the demand goes up. So how we optimize? You know, we start putting restrictions. Don't take a one night or, or you know, keep higher rates well in advance, and not to take discounted business. And we try and limit the discount. You know, try and maximize with rates during you know, the peak time that you can do when you know the demand in advance. That's called forecasting. So similarly, we also manage distribution. Distribution. You know, I was yeah. telling you about you know managing online channels. ODAs, AH.com. So we float offers and ensure rates are in parity to maximize more revenue to get a market share yeah. from distribution channels like from ODA, AH.com. Okay. And the fourth one, if you ask me, uh, reports and analysis. Okay. Yeah, you heard of market share. Yeah. So like uh, we have something called Smith Travel Research (SGR) in hotels. So what we do is that we look at our performance. Let's say we did 40 percent occupancy, and how much is Comsat is done? Yes. Let's say Comsat is done 50 percent. Yes. So we are we have done 40 and Comsat is done 50. Yes. So there's a gap, right? Comsat is done better than us. Yes. So we try and figure out as a revenue manager, we look at the data and study that okay, there is a gap to go. We are doing less than the Comsat. Where are we losing? Can we do better? Why can't we just do better than Comsat or in line with Comsat occupancy? So similarly, we look at ADR at what rate we are selling and what rate Comsat is selling. Maybe we are selling slightly at a higher price than Comsat. Can we just reduce the rate and get more bookings? Can we increase the office in that way? So that's something that comes under reports and analysis. That is one part. There are many elements under reports and analysis. So we covered pricing, forecasting, distribution, reports and analysis, and market intelligence. The fifth one is market intelligence. Like we, we figure out what's happening in the market. The not just you know what price competition is selling at, also the events happening in the city. How we can maximize during events. So market intelligence is key 
for us to plan the future you know in terms of pricing or you know what we have to come up with some uh, deals or offers during low season when the demand is low so that's 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 one of the example which i would like to highlight in market intelligence so we covered market intelligence also and then is business evaluation so i can go and go and go on and on and on and there are all functions and revenue management so i would like to limit to this business evaluation business evaluation is to under this we evaluate which business to pick up let's say you know maybe third of june we are getting a lot of inquiries lot of group inquiries so we decide which one to pick how do we decide looking at the rate and you know how many days they are staying over three nights two nights or what is the kind of profitability we are looking at we look at multiple factors and we pick and choose the right business if it is low demand okay maybe that that's the right business for that period so we evaluate business basis all of this and the time okay? thank you sir thank uh sir too much of a time i'm taking right no i do have to see there because you know it's shoot no, it has to be there only no right we are not there okay because it, i messed it up in the game no problem yeah yeah okay okay thank you okay last okay one more question right? yeah, yeah, shoot i have uh, a question that uh, Uh, what are the career prospects in revenue management for you guys? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, great. So if you are interested, I mean, yes. So technically, if you want to choose your career, if you want to choose a department, so you should be saying no. Whatever you do, be it you know kitchen, be it at kitchen or be it at FMB or where, whichever department you are in. If you are doing something, it makes you feel good. I mean, that's your forte. So okay. that's yeah, absolutely. Because you, you should be feeling good once you finish your. Shape or once you complete your, you know, working hour, when you leave home, you should be feeling good. Then that's your department. I mean, you should be happy what you do, right? So in revenue management, technically, if you are interested, I think whichever department you are in, I think because we look after all streams, be it FMB or Fendes or you know, room sales, across all departments, we involve ourselves to maximize revenue. So you can start with even at Fendes, or maybe I have come from reservations. I was I started my career in food, food and beverage. I was there for some time. Then I moved to Fendes. From there, you know, reservations. And from reservations, I moved to revenue. Whichever department you are in, you can. In Akkor, we also had management uh, training programs, and you know, we we trained them from the beginning in revenue management. And they, there are many of them are now working as revenue managers. You know, assistant revenue managers. They're leading some of the hotels also in Akkor. So there is there is great opportunity in revenue management. It's, it's evolving. I mean, a lot of things to learn, right? Now it is everything is digital. Yeah. You see airline, airline. I mean, the revenue management happens. In, so that's that's the uh, you know level we should be targeting. The hotel industry should be targeting because they do revenue management you know real time. I mean, you see, let's say if you search, I mean, all of us, ten of us searching for a uh, flight for you know maybe sixth of May. And immediately they track that okay, there is a huge demand for that. Day immediately the pricing goes up. It is all automated. So we also have automated system uh, in in Accor. I mean, we just don't have to do it manually. You know, when demand goes up and when we see sudden pickup for a day, automatically the pricing goes up. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and uh, expertise with us, sir. Thank you so much. Always. Thank you so much. Always. Thank you.